Okay, so today is going to be quite familiar for you. If you understood the last unit, this will be absolutely no extra uh, learning for you today. Okay, so we're going to be talking about exponential functions still, but this time they're going to give me data. And from that, I'm going to use my calculator to help me graph. Now, the first, this investigation, uh, this might be something you could see in a test, that this is the fruit fly, fly uh, population over a fixed period. So on day zero, so starting now, there was 70. After one day, there was 7.6, two days, 8, 84, 92, 101, 111. Now, the first thing that I would ask is how do you know if this is exponential? That's a, you can mathematically prove this is exponential. And this is something that we got to get down on a study sheet. Anything that is exponential, and we talked about it. Okay. Anybody got any wild ideas how to know if this is exponential? Uh, if it doubles, but it doesn't always just have to double. It has to be regular, right? So it's got to be doing the same thing to here as it is to get to there, as it is to get to there, as it is to get to there. Now, my question is, what is it doing to go from 70 to 76? Increasing. No, you do not add when it's exponential. That is linear. Linear, you add the same every time. So linear, you add every time. Exponential, you multiply every time. Well, what do you think that they're multiplying to get to 70 to 76? It's not nice and cut and dry like a two or a three, is it? Now I got a I got a question for you. If it goes three, oops, six, twelve, twenty-four, how do you find out what it's doing to get from three to six? How would you find that out though? Okay, but you're visually looking at it. Why? does your way not work here? Okay, so tell me a way to find out mathematically how to get that 2. Yes? 24 divided by 12 or 12 divided by 6 or 6 divided by 3. So backwards. So with that tidbit of knowledge, how would you find out what this is getting multiplied by? Take 76 divide by 70. So 76 divide by se 70. Or we can just put it over top, right? Okay, what do you get? So let's go to 1.09. Okay? Now let's test it though, because if that one worked, 84 divided by what should also work? 76. You want to test a few to see if it's even exponential. One point one one. Okay. Then the next one, what do we get? So we're gonna take ninety two divided by eighty four. One point zero nine. Okay. Okay. Now, why aren't these nice? Now, so we say this is an exponential? These are like real life fruit flies. So if they're off by a couple fruit flies, we don't want to throw exponential out of the window. Okay? But when we get real life data, they should be kind of close or they're not going to be exponential. So. 
we're going to get on to what we're doing today. Now, remember this. Y equals A, B to the X. What does A always stand for? Y int. What does B always stand for? The base. Yep. What does the base always represent? That's my growth or decay factor, right? Now, how do we know if it's growth? If A is, or sorry, if B is, if B is greater than, so it's growth, B is greater than 1, and it is decay if, oh, why did I put a 0? Greater than 1 or decay if B is less than 1 or greater than 0. Okay. So, do you think this would be a growth or decay? And it even shows you, look, all of these are greater than 1. So it shows that this is growth. Now, let's just try this one in our calculators to see if we can get the same B. Okay, so what do we do? To, uh, how do I put these things in again? Stat, edit. edit. Okay, so i got to change mine to 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, and then make sure they're with the right buddy. It's 0, 70, 1, 76, 2, 84, oops, there we got the 2 in, 92, 101, and 111. Okay. Now, how do I find my equation? Nope. Stat. Calc. Would it be linear, quadratic, cubic, quartic, linear? Exponential, there it is. Exponential regression. Our new button today. That's the only new thing we're doing today. Okay, so I'll hit enter, enter. What is B? So 1.097, so 1.1, 1 .1, right? So that should kind of make sense. It is, right, increasing. What would be the Y intercept? 69.68, so yeah, 69, which is pretty close to 70, and that's how, me, how many we had at zero, right? So it should make sense. That's all I'm trying to do. Like, the worst thing is magic numbers. I don't know. Write them down, right? Gave it to me. That's what kids, well, why would you put that? That's my calculator gave me. I'm like, okay, well, did you think about it? No. And what is this? 0 0.9995. Is that pretty good? Yeah. What's the best? One. one. And that's pretty close to one. Okay, now what if I want to see this thing? Y equals, no, I don't want, I just want to see the dots. Get plot one on and then hit zoom nine. Now it kind of looks like a straight line, right? I wonder if we go zoom out, if it would actually hit 3, enter, I don't know if it, you can start to see it's taken a bit of a curve, right? But yeah, linear, linear's not too bad on this one, but I bet you, if I just go stat, calc, uh, try linear regression, which is 4, see what the 0.994, so not as good. But you can see that if this thing kept going, it would start really taking off.
Yeah, but this is the number you're going to look at. And we're going to do an example just like that to des decide which one it is. Okay? So they will have one question on picking what is the best. Okay? We'll talk about that. Okay, things to remember. I, it's growth if B is greater than 1. It is decay if, right? Hopefully, that is super redundant for you. Okay, growth and decay. Now, here is exactly... Uh, what we're looking at. It says, determine which of the following sets involve exponential growth or decay. So, it takes a bit of time to put it into your calculator, but after that, it's pretty fast. Now, let's do A quick. Okay, let's do it together. Get in your, hit your stat, edit, and get, now, the 0, 1 through 5 are already in. So you want to hit 0, 5.1, 10.2, 15.3, 20 20.4, and 25.5. Okay, double check. 5.1, 10.2, 15.3, 20.4, and 25.5. Now, if this was a test question on the diploma, they might just say, here's a set of data which regression would be the best? A, B, C, or D? Now, I would start top down. So you're going to go stat, calc. No, you can only do one at a time. So I'm going to try linear regression first. And I will get most likely it's linear. Okay? Now, but you know what? I'm a little paranoid. It's diploma. I'm going to check the other ones, and it's not hard, right? It's pretty fast. Stat, calc, the next was quadratic regression, right? We had done ha that one last unit. Yeah, I bet you they wouldn't have both of those as a choice. Okay, well, let's check stat, calc, cubic. Yeah. Cubic's one. You know why this one's one? I can almost guarantee you is because the points are, like if I drew it quick, bet you the points are kind of going like this. Right? And it hasn't started taking off or doing whatever it's going to do. Right? So, this one, oh well let's try even uh, exponential. Anyone try it? Okay, exponential gave you domain error. Stat, calc. Yeah. Well, it's definitely not that one. Okay, so this one, we could say it is could be linear, could be quadratic, and could be did we cubic. Okay, don't put it past them that they would say it could be in A, linear only, right? B, linear, quadratic, or cubic. C, cubic only, okay? So th that's another thing they can do. No, they want to see if you know how to use R squared, right? Now, remember the big thing. You're going to clear your calculator, so you have to turn diagnostic on. Okay, now how did we do that? Do you remember? Second, catalog, right? And then diagnostic on. And make sure when you do diagnostic on, you have to do an enter after that, and it will say done. If you don't hit enter again, you'll see your R squareds don't show up again. Right? So,
Okay, so let's do the next one. And you can see how the numbers are spread out. I bet you it's not going to be as many. Stat, uh, edit, 1, 2.5. 6.25, 15.62, and 97.66. Now, like I've said, that I hope that when you get a regression question, it's just, you're just like, oh, geez, one of these, right? Routine. Put it in, get the answer. Okay, so we always want to start so I'm going to go stat, calc, and I'm going to start with linear regression, 4 equals. Okay, so for linear, that was, r squared was 0 0.74. And you can see how quick it is, right? You've already done the work, stat, calc, we'll do quadratic regression next. Okay, we've got 0 0.74. 9696. Nine, so quadratic r squared equals 0 0.9696. Nine, six. Try it again. Stat, calc. Let's go cubic. Enter, enter. 0 0.998. So cubic. 0 0.998. Okay, and then let's do exponential, calc. Please excuse this interruption. Margarita, please contact the office. Margarita, please contact the office. Okay, so cubic, or sorry, exponential, 0 0.9999, right? So you can see this is a great multiple choice question on my exam or on, uh, and this is a 100% do you know how to use your technology question, right? And like I told you, there will be people in this province that will write that diploma and they've never been to a math class. And th like th this question, not a chance, right? Not a chance, right? They could guess. That's about it. Then they would. But if they probably watched my videos, they probably had enough uh, in them to go to class too. Okay. So let's do this question right from scratch. This will be, I will give you one of these on your written response of your test. You will get one of these on the diploma, at least one, because you're going to get one for linear regression, maybe for quadratic regression, maybe for exponential. Okay? So I want everybody to do this one. So x will be the length. Right? And every student that's doing these over and over again is going to find more success, obviously, because they are used to them. So I put um, all my x's at one time. I usually like to put a couple wrong, so check them over. This would most likely be a numerical response question on your diploma because I just may ask for the A value. Okay, and I have a few of you that seem to have bored my calculator long term. I need them back because I have other students, right, in other classes. See, these aren't even in order, a lot of them, right? 
Just make sure they're with the right buddy. Oh man, what did I screw up? I didn't even start at the beginning. Are you kidding me? Oh. Don't do what I just did. I don't know how that happened. Okay, so they and they're really good on the diploma. They'll say find the uh, a value of this exponential regression. Okay, so how do we find the a value of this exponential regression? Well, we'd go stat, calc, zero or exponential regression then enter. Okay, Tony, you need to put that away. I'll be paying attention to this. Okay, now, not the greatest R squared, but they told us exponential regression, right? So that's obviously, um, so my A value is 26.9. What does that stand for? Y intercept. B is 1.008. So it's greater than 1. So it should be growth, right? So let's write those values down. I'm going to take a screenshot here. So this would be y equals, uh, does it tell me any, so we're doing exponential regression. Does it t tell me any rounding? No, it should have, but let's round, well, we won't round on this. 26.9 times 1.008 to the x. Now Sam caught a fish that measured 400 millimeters. Is that an X value or a Y value? It's an X. So if they give me an X, what do I use? Trace. Okay, you trace your X. Now, how am I supposed to do that with this calculator? Okay, so I got to go to Y equals VARS 5 equation enter. Okay, now I should go zoom 9 on this one to make sure that I am doing a stat graph. Zoom 9. Now, why is there like points all jumbled and everything? That's real life. Okay, if, if you were to do this normally, it's not going to be like every point lying in the line, but you can see it is a bunch of data. Now, how do I find Okay, so second, no, I don't want to go s second. Don't I just go trace? Trace, up, then what do I do? 400. Six hundred eighty-nine point five. So to the nearest gram would be, huh? 690, yeah. So we got to go trace 400. Well, we have to go trace up 400, right? And then we get y equals 690 grams. Now Samuel's grandfather would like to catch a fish with a mass of 1,000 grams. How long to the nearest millimeter would you expect this fish to be. 
Okay, so what are they giving me? They're, they're giving me a y. y equals 1,000, right? It's really important we're establishing what they're giving me. Therefore, if they give me y equals 1,000, I need to put in y2 as 1,000. Okay, and I see nothing. Okay, so we got to go to Y max. How do I get there? Window. My Y max is 951. Do you see how 1,000 is above my graph line? So we should change that to what? 1,000 or maybe 1,200. I'd like to see a bit more of it. Right there. Chances are that's my answer right there, right? I find it by going second, trace, which is interesting, and then five, enter, enter, enter. How long would that fish be to the nearest millimeter? 546. Okay, so remember we did y2 equals 1,000. Then we go second, trace, intersect. Okay, and you should get that point right there, which is x equals 446 millimeters. Okay, now, on the next one, we have uh, just another question. This one's pretty fast to put in our calculator, but it's going to be a bit m more mean to us trying to figure out the information. And again, why do we want to do that in class? So you're not all bent out of shape when you're doing your diploma. It's just, yeah, you've seen it before. Okay, so... We go stat, edit, and we want to clear all this, so just hit clear, and then your down arrow. Next one, go up, hit clear, and your down arrow. And then just get 1970, 1980, 1990, 2000, and 2010. Oops. And Y2, 3.91, Okay, this one says use exponential regression. So it's asking me to do it. It's not saying, hey, go find out the best one. It says use exponential regression. So stat, calc, up, Enter. Okay, it's pretty strong for exponential regression anyway. A lot stronger than the last one. So define the function. Y equals 1.72 times 1.01 to the X. Now, assuming the same growth rate, estimate the population in the year 2020. Are they giving me the X or the Y? So X equals, so what do we use? Trace, not second function trace, right? It's just trace. Okay, so we try that, probably not gonna go well. So what am I gonna trace though? If I hit graph, That's that old graph from before, right? So we get it, get out of here and we got to clear. 
How do I get the new graph in there? So vars 5 eq enter. But we also do not see any of those points, so make sure we hit zoom stat, right? Now if you hit trace, make sure you hit the up arrow after and then my x value, which is what? 20, 20. Okay, and I get that. Why? It's out of the window. Okay. So 2014 is the greatest my window is at. So make it 20. 50 or something. Great minds think alike. Trace. Oops, still graphing. Trace. Up. 20, 20. Okay. 8.05 what? What is what is these numbers like 3.91 what does this mean population 391 billion. billion right so 805 billion or 8.05 billion i should say okay and the next one says what would you expect to populate when will the population reach 950 billion so they've given me a y so y2 equals 950, 9.5 I should say, sorry. So we hit the y2, 9.5 graph. Check my windows. My biggest window is 7.4. Okay, good, makes sense, I didn't see it. Right, I can't see the graph, so make it like 15. And just wait for the fun to happen. I have no idea where they got this. Okay, so this is your answer, correct? Second, trace, five, enter, enter, enter. What does this number mean? 2031. That is the year, yep. No? No. Yes, 2031, all day long. Because that's a four. No, no, no. You, If you're rounding the nearest year, you do not look five numbers away. It's the one only beside it that dictates. Okay? You don't take this to round this up and then that, right? That's some students. Uh, so to the nearest year is y, or sorry, x equals. 2031. Page 154 to 156. Okay, take a couple minutes to like talk, stretch, walk around, whatever, right? And then in a couple minutes we're getting to work. But if you need to stand up and that's a long time to sit, 